This is Chance, an eight-month-old German Shepherd. He's here for boarding. Uh, eventually, what I would like to do with him is protection. That's what his parents want. So what I'm going to do is be building a foundation of his fundamentals. A lot of the basics, I want to make sure he's prepared for protection later on. The age that he's at right now is a little early to be doing protection, but it's good to uh, get a standard of fundamentals. The problem with him is he gets very excited. He runs out of the car. Uh, he doesn't wait. So right now, I'm going to work on controlling him from jumping out of the vehicle. Jumping out of the vehicle could be very dangerous, um, and I need to, to train him to control himself. If the family decides to open up the door in a parking lot, and he runs out, he could get smoked by a car. We don't want that to happen. So we want him to start being able to control himself. Chance was pretty wild when I got him. He came on a prong collar. In my opinion, it wasn't adjusted properly. It's not no, no fault of the parents. Um, it wasn't really adjusted properly, and he doesn't really know the feedback from it. So today I might be playing around with the prong collar, seeing where he's at, see what he's like. Uh, we're building a bond. We're more working on building a bond, going through some obstacles, see where his mind's at, see what his body language is saying, and work from there. But right now, I want to control him from just jumping out of the vehicle and also when he gets out, not running around crazy. I want to start putting some control on him. With control, he will get freedom. But to access freedom, he has to be in somewhat of control. Ah. Good. No. So he's waiting. Sit. Good. I'm going to grab the leash before he comes out. Good boy. Wait. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Sit. Yes. Okay. This is very important because this dictates all of his training. This is very important because this is going to dictate all of his training. If he's, if he's learned to act crazy, he's going to act crazy. He's a really nice dog from what I see. Um, got a nice temperament, but he's just like his head's going a thousand miles an hour. Chance. Yes. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Chance. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. So the impulse is here. The impulse control I'm working with the with the uh, with the collar. So so anytime he goes for the treat, you see he's gonna have to wait. Yes, good. The treat's coming to him. It's not necessarily he's running crazy. Uh uh up. Yes. Okay, I'll let him pick that one up. We're just teaching him some impulse control because his brain's going like 90 miles an hour. Sit. Yes, good boy. Not really uh, friendly on the hands. Sit, sit, good. You see how he's antic behavior, he's antsy. He's, uh, uh, I gotta calm this brain down. Sit, good, good, yes. Yes, good boy. Yes, good. Now we're gonna take him on the field. So I want him to lick it out of the hand. I want him to lick it out of the hand. I don't want him to nibble it out because that's what he's doing. So I'm going to close my hand and wait for him to start licking. I'm going to close my hand because I'm going to wait for him to start licking. And when he starts licking, then I'll release the treat to him. I don't want a dog biting my hands like that. Good boy. Well, way more focused than before. Chance. Down. Yes. Good. I want some duration on these commands. Down. Yes. Uh-uh. Down. Yes. Uh-uh, down. Yes. So 
So I'm just gonna step on the leash here to keep him on the down. And I'm gonna reward down. I'm gonna go a little closer. And I'm gonna reward him staying down. Yes, his duration. It's gonna calm his brain down. Nope, down. Yes. He needs to get in the idea that I don't have to go a million miles an hour all the time. I can just relax. Just relaxing is, is doing something. Yes. Good boy. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. So we're going to go over these little obstacles. One thing you can do, you could put the leash on the ground and he's only got a 12 foot leash. If you see him running away, you just step on it. Okay. There's no real major, good boy. There's no major distractions at this field. We're just testing him. I want his tail to wag. I want him to be my friend. And then, then the real training is going to start. Yes, good boy. Come. Good. It's not really what I wanted. I want you to follow a lure. He's going in circles. I don't need him to go in circles. Bit my hand. It's not great. See what I'm saying? He's all over the place. He's, he's going everywhere. He doesn't know what he, he's not following a lure. Chance. Yes, good. Chance. Nope. We don't want that. You see what he's doing? He's not following. I want this to be like a magnet on his nose. What is he doing? He's always going around me. This is annoying. It's like his brain only goes in circles. So what I could, what, see what I mean? So what I could do to avoid that is hold the leash and slowly lure him up. Yes. Easy, easy. Step. Sit. I'm going to wait for him to sit. Sit. Yes. That's an uncompromised situation, but that's what we want him to do. We want him to function under stress. Good. Learn how to use your brain. You could think. You have four feet. They all work independently. Yes, good. Down. Yes. So I'm trying to reward him when he's settled. Come. See, wants to go in a circle. I'm gonna do the same thing back. So he's flying through everything. I'm gonna slow him down. Good. Good. Easy, good. Still doing some nipping. I want to lick it out of my hand. Good boy, easy. Come. Nope. See, he's going back to that circling around. This prong collar has a lot of slack in it. It's not really perfect. It should be high up on the neck and tight, but he's a new dog. We're just getting the hang of meeting each other. Chance. Good. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Yeah.